Greetings guys, it is Stokecraft. I am finally back guys. My practice exam week is over and I am absolutely naked right now. But that doesn't mean that I didn't want to make a video for you guys. So, I first thought about making the Q&A video. But I do want to put a lot of effort into that video. And because I am so tired at the moment, I thought to myself, you know what, let's uh, make the Q&A uh, next weekend or so. So I unfortunately I'm going to have to disappoint you guys as the yeah, Q&A video will be made even later than this weekend. But I hope you guys don't mind. Because it has also been almost a month without me uploading any yeah, World of Tanks content on this channel. Because of all the subscriber specials and all the third year anniversary stuff. So today I thought you know what it doesn't really matter that I don't upload the Q&A video. Let's make a proper World of Tanks video again. And as 9.15 has just come out, I decided let's get rid of some 9.14 replays so that I can update my client. And then I came across this replay here. It is Yogurt again in the SU-85B, the tier 4 Russian tank destroyer without a turret. And as you can see, something really special, I am playing in this game as well. And then I remembered, I played this game with Yogurt around 3 months ago. And after this battle, he got a good result and I told him to send me the replay. So that's exactly what he did. Most of you guys will know the SU-85B. As you can see, it is a tier 4 tank destroyer with a, I think an 85mm gun. That's why the 85 is in the name of the tank, of course. It has got an 85mm gun. As you can see, that can absolutely wreck uh, enemy tanks. Especially in tier 4, this gun just gives such a big punch. The thing is though, this tank doesn't have any armor, unfortunately. It also has no roof, so if an artillery would manage to splash a shell inside your tank, you're pretty much going to be stuffed. Also, as we can see, the SU-85B is pretty mobile. It is pretty quick and it turns pretty rapidly. I can remember when I was playing the SU-85B and it has been a pretty long time, I would say. It pretty much would have been at the beginning of my World of Tanks career, but back then I didn't have a clue pretty much on how to drive tank destroyers without a turret. It just was weird to me that there were tanks in the game without a turret. But anyway, let's get back to the game as we can see a lot of enemy tanks have gathered around the western flank of the map and in the city. But as we can see, the people on the western flank of my team are camping at the usual spot there. But as the enemy tanks are in the threat to us at the moment, we decide to try and clean up the city. So that's exactly what Yogurt and me are going to do. The thing is, both of our tanks don't have much armor, so it's important for us to ambush the enemy. We're both going to set up in a bush and hope that the enemy tanks are going to make a mistake and drive into the open, so that we can of course take them out. It looks like there's still four enemy tanks into the city at the moment, and the Matilda and the T-40 are closest to us at the moment, so we are just hoping that one of them drives into the open, or both of them, and that's exactly what they do. Yogurt is the one taking out the Matilda, and then the T-40 gets spotted as well, but unfortunately, Yogurt misses, but it doesn't really matter as I took the kill. So right now there's still three enemy tanks in the city as we can see. Yogurt turns his tank and see if he has a shot. But unfortunately the tank pulls back right on time and there's another enemy tank. <laughs> That's almost a one shot for a yogurt there, oh my god. Okay, then a D2 peeks out to see if he can put in a shot. Yogurt and me at the same time, I put a shot in and yogurt takes him down. So now there's only two enemy tanks left in the city and they are both on really low health. Let's see if yogurt can take them out, of course he is. Yeah, exactly, Mother Russia, no problem. <laughs> Beautiful snapshot takes down the cruiser 2 on the enemy team so now there's only one guy left into the city and we pretty much know where he is and he missed <laughs> and yogurt takes him down so that's the seventh kill for yogurt he's already picked up a top gun medal so right now the last enemy tank on the enemy team is an su-85 who's who's all the way on the other side of the map so as we arrive at the other side of the map, we can see that the SU-85 is still on the full health. Yogurt turns right and unfortunately takes a very big shot. So it's impossible for Yogurt now to take any more shots from the SU-85. And I am also a one shot, but I do want to give Yogurt the 8 kills. So what am I going to do? I am going to distract the SU-85 to try if he comes after me and that's exactly what I do. But fortunately, he takes me down. But it doesn't really matter because I have succeeded in my plan to give Yogurt the 8th kill. So let's take a look at some stats guys. 
that's a first class medal for Yogurt as well as a high caliber and a top gun. Really awesome. Although he got 8 kills, you can't get Red Lee Walters medals in tier 4 and below. But still, it's been a very good game for both of us. Yogurt ended up on top on damage on our team. Also ended up on top by kills. Logical. It wasn't the worst game for me either. I also managed to do around 800 damage. An all round really solid performance by me and Yogurt. So guys, I hope you liked to see this quick, short gameplay. And again, thanks for Yogurt for sending in the replay that I had long forgotten about. It was an absolute blast to watch. So if there's any other subscribers out there that would like to send in a replay, I will show you in the screen right now what you need to do to send in one of your replays. Please follow the conditions as they are written on your screen right now, because that just makes it so much easier for me. That's all I wanted to say, guys. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.